Verse 17, from that time Jesus began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Hmm. And I can see in Matthew 3, 8, it says, bring forth therefore fruits made for repentance. And in Matthew 3, verse 2, it says, repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Oh, Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, the day, oh God, that I knew you. But Father, I want to thank you for the lives of my sisters, Sister Blanche and Sister Louisa, wherever they may be right now, oh God. According to your word, which I have just read in Matthew, oh Lord God, 4.17. And three, two. I pray for the salvation of their souls in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They shall not perish, O oh Lord God. But therefore, I believe, O oh God, that even as they are in Germany and in Poland, oh Father, that you're going to use your messengers to preach this message of repentance to them. And Father, their hearts shall not be hardened. Oh God, you said in your word, you said when we call upon your name, we shall be saved. And Father, you see, when we pray for the salvation of our loved ones, oh God, they shall be saved. Father, I pray for my sisters, oh Lord, Sister Blanche and Sister Louisa. Father, touch their heart. Father, bless them. For in Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Wow. A letter from my office. <laughs> This is serious. I was at work yesterday and they didn't give me the letter personally. Anyway, I have to see what is inside. <sighs> oh God, what kind of life is this? I walk from Monday to Monday and still nothing to show for it. Oh my God. Why has thou forsaken me? I save you faithfully. I go to church every Sunday and I pay my tithe as still. No breakthrough is forthcoming. Look at what I just received from my office. A sack letter. A sack letter. I am the first to enter the office and the last to leave. And now this. What kind of life is this? 
God, why? Why? Even the Bible makes us to understand in Deuteronomy 28 verse 12 that he will bless the works of my hands. That I will lend out to nations and never borrow. Why is my own case different? Hmm. God, this is so unfair. This is so unfair. This is so unfair. <laughs> I think the best thing to do is to stop going to church. Uh-uh. How about now? From now on, I will take my life into my own hands. Look at Sister Louise. She goes where the wind blows her to and has got absolutely nothing to worry about. Absolutely nothing. Hello, Sister Louise. Yes, Mother Mary. Hello. How are you doing? It's been a long time. Let me guess. You're just returning back from clothing, right? Mm-hmm. You already know what is up now. I just came back from the club and I was about to sleep. I can feel it from your voice. You are mm. not alone. No, 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 no. This time I'm alone. I don't have company. Just all by myself. Yeah? So tell me, what's up? <sighs> My dear. It's as if all odds are against me. My friend, you know my story. My life is a mess. I have had six suitors and they all disappointed me. I have changed my job five times. I have not been able to visit my parents in Cameroon for over the past 10 years now and counting. Who does that? Who does that? What about Jax, who died mysteriously two months ago in the course of our marriage preparations? I can tell you, life is messing with me. Life in this Europe is messing with me, my sister. It is really dealing with me. And now, as if that is not enough, I just received a sack letter from my office. I was at the office yesterday. My chef was not bold enough to look at me in the face and say something. They had to send the letter to me this morning. <laughs> I am finished now. I am finished. Where do I start from? Where do I go from here? How do I pay my rent? What about my mom who is expecting me to send her money for her, for her treatment? For a monthly treatment, yeah. But that is the same same old story you tell me about all the time, right? I told you that this is your church palava. Look at you since I know you, eh? Since that you have been praying that you are God. What has changed about your life? You still drive the same old car, live in the same apartment, and you are not married, my sister. But look at me. Hmm? I ride the most expensive cars. Hmm? I use the latest phones in town, yeah, yeah. And I do what I want. I can travel to wherever and whenever I want to. So girl, come on, be like me. 
Even in that same Bible, they say, Heaven help those who help themselves. So come on, help yourself, Jare, and stop making noise in my ears. Stanley's. This life now, wow. This life now, wow. So I have to now do a shower to be able to pay my rent. Now you're talking. So come on. What we are going to do is I'm going to give you some few tips. Yeah? And then I'm going to introduce you to some people. So your life is going to change, my sister. That Bible of yours and that church is going to take you nowhere. Mm. But my dear. Please just give me some time to think about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay now, like I told you, I just came back from the club and I'm tired. Let me sleep. Hello, 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 people of God. God bless you all from wherever you are connecting with us today. Today is another Friday to the glory of God. We are here for another edition of Come, Bless, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are joining us today for the first time, God bless you. If you've been with us, God bless you. And thank you. I appreciate you all so much for coming. Hallelujah. Let's take a song together before we pray. Jesus is calling you, come and save your soul. Jesus is calling you, come and save your soul. Jesus is calling you, come and save your soul. There is danger. Come and save your soul. Jesus is calling you. Come and save your soul. Jesus is calling you. Come and save your soul, sister. Jesus is calling you. Come and save your soul. There is danger. Come and save your soul. Why do delay? Oh, come and save your soul. Why do you delay? Oh, come and save your soul. Why do you delay? Oh, come and save your soul. There is danger. Come and save your soul. Jesus is calling you. Come and save your soul. As you're listening to me right now and listening to the voice of God, do not harden your heart. Do not procrastinate. Do not say, tomorrow I will save my soul or tomorrow I will listen to the message of salvation. Jesus is calling on you. Come right now and save your soul. Come and give your life to Jesus Christ so that he can beautify you. Make Maybe you have been going to church, maybe you have been so active in your local church, but you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. That brings us to today's program, which is titled Total Repentance. Do you hear me, somebody? Total Repentance. It means total submission, total surrender. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us bow our heads in prayers. Heavenly Father, gracious Lord, we thank you so much for this opportunity to be in your presence once more. Daddy, we thank you for the breath of life. We thank you for our parents. We thank you for our children, our spouses. I thank you for every single brother and sister out there, oh God. I thank you for everyone at the hospital bed. I thank you, oh God, for everyone, whatever the situation you may be going through right now. Father, we commit your word today into your hands. Father, for as many who are going to listen to your word, oh God, they are going to surrender their lives unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Jesus, Father Lord, I surrender myself behind the cross of Calvary. I disappear so that you will appear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ who have prayed. Amen. Once more, if you are just joining us today, my name is Miss Purity and our title for today's message is Total Repentance. Let's open our Bibles to Isaiah 55 verse 7. The word of God says, and I read, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. Child of God, do you listen to that message? The word of God, Jesus is saying to you, God is saying to you, he said, forsake your wicked ways, your thoughts. What is catching my attention? He says, is the thought. Do you know you can be there and you're going through hard times and there's no breakthrough and in your mind you're saying, oh my God, I have been doing this but God is not blessing me. It looks at the thing. No, sister, ask yourself, do you truly have a personal walking relationship with Jesus Christ? Have you totally surrendered? Because you cannot help God to do the things that only God can do in your life. Life. Hallelujah. So you have to surrender. Today the word of God is a total repentance. It is a partial repentance. It's a total repentance. Which means that whether in whether things are going on well or things are going on bad, you will surrender to the will of God. And you will surrender your thoughts into the hands of God. So you may be there. You say, oh, from Mondays to Fridays, I can live my life the way I want. And on Sundays, I will go to church and pay my tithe. I will go to church and dance, you are only deceiving yourself. Time is running so short. The time Jesus is coming again. And that's why we hear John the Baptist came to announce he was the harbinger of the Lord. And he said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. My sister, can't you see the unfolding of things around you? Can't you see the unfolding of things around the world? If you sleep today and you don't wake up, where will you spend eternity? Ask yourself that question. Why are things so difficult? What have I done? People are saying this, people are saying that. But the Bible makes us to understand. He said when you surrender unto the will of God and you delight yourselves in the will of the Lord, the Lord will always be with you. In Romans, he said, what can separate us from the love of God? The answer is nothing. Nothing. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Ask yourself again and again. Examine your thought, whether they are according to God's thoughts for you. Because he tells us, he says his thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are not our ways. You may be going through that situation right now because God is preparing you to be at the position where you can encourage others. If you don't know pain, you cannot give out encouragement to those who are passing through pains. Child of God, have you repented? Have you given your life to Christ? Do you know Jesus? What if we sleep and we don't wake up tomorrow? Where will you spend eternity? So I'm going to leave you with this word. Where shall I spend eternity? Where will my life go forth from here? Have I placed all my mentality and my thought on the temporal things, temporary things on earth? Because when you die, your body will rot, but your soul will live. And it is you who has that opportunity now to decide where your soul will spend eternity. Is it in hell or is it in heaven? Remember, the word of God says here, as you have read in Isaiah 55 verse 7, he said, if you forsake your ways right now, right this moment, and you come to him, he's going to forgive you. He's going to remove your name from the book of darkness, and he's going to put your name in the book of light. There is nothing worthy except the peace, the joy, 
we experience because of our salvation in Christ Jesus. I know you want to know about my story, but take another rendezvous with us, same time, same platform, and you will hear the story of Miss Purity. God bless you. Thank you so much for coming. If you are willing to give your life to Christ, the word of God has taught you and you have examined your heart and you know that you are afraid that if you die, you may go to hell. This is an opportunity for you to give your life to Christ. So just bow your head and repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for my life. I am so sorry that I was ignorant about you, about your grace, about your mercy. Oh God, I come to you today. I recognize that I am a sinner. Please forgive me. I was so busy chasing after the activities in church. I didn't know that I needed to have a personal relationship with you as my friend, as my father, and as my all and all. Today, Lord, I accept you into my life as my personal Lord and Savior. Forgive me my sins. Wash me clean and give me the power not to sin again. Thank you, Lord, for making me yours. When Jesus' mighty name I've prayed. If you have prayed that prayer with all your heart, congratulations, sister. Congratulations, brother. Welcome. We are now children of the same father. Hallelujah. I celebrate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let me just pray for you. Gracious Lord, Father, King of Kings and Lord of Lord, I thank you for your children. Your word says there is joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than thousands who are going astray. Father, for these ones who have given their lives to you this hour, Father, I pray that every chains of sins be cut off, be destroyed over their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Their salvation is permanent and they shall never, never go back to their evil ways. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. See you another time. Amen. Thank you, Tuma. God bless you, Ma. Wow. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jehovah Nisi has done me well. Come and join me, sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Jehovah Shammah has done me well. Come and join me, eh? come and join me, sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Jehovah Nisi has done me well. Come and join me, sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Jehovah Shammah has done me well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me through your servant with this wonderful word. I am so looking forward to the next one on Friday. Hmm. I think I need to invite sisters Blanche and Louise to watch as well. I'm sure they will be blessed. Let me just call them and see how they are doing. Father God, I am in big trouble. I am so confused, oh Lord. And as your daughter, oh Father, I am not supposed to be confused, Lord. I have lost everything. Everything, oh Lord. I am empty. Father God, I just lost my job. And the only job offer I am having now is to become a prostitute, Lord. Speak to me, Daddy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. Wow, Sister Grace and Sister Comfort on the conference call. Okay. It's interesting. <laughs> hey, Sister Comfort. Long case of time. How are you doing? I am great, too, my dear. I just finished watching Miss Purity's Facebook Live sermon. Chai, I carry fire. This woman's preaching is just so inspiring and powerful. I would love to encourage you both to join the next one. And I promise you all will be so blessed. 
I know Europe is not easy with its stress and all, but trust me, God is the only way out. Anything else is just vanity. Thank you, sweet Jesus. This is a prayer point answer. Please, I would love to join her next Facebook uh, broadcast. See, wait, 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 wait. I've just been silently listening to you. I beg people, next time when you guys have such problems, you don't die, my number. I mean, allow me. Don't die, my number. Uh -uh. What is wrong? Jesus up, Jesus down, Jesus. Am I the one who killed Jesus? Please, 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 I beg. Live your life. Let me live mine. If you want to continue living your poverty, live your poverty. Uh -uh. Hmm. Sister Louise, there is nothing good that comes from a wayward life. I can tell you this. Anyways, I'll be praying for you that you finally get a wake-up call soon before it is too late. Always remember that there is no repentance in heaven. What kind of stress is this? Huh? Nonsense. Mm. 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 Sister Comfort, don't mind Sister Luis Jerry. Don't mind her. You know her now. She will change. She is going to change. Please, I beg. Can you give me this, uh, this woman's details? I would really like to join her next uh, uh, Facebook live broadcast. So the next broadcast will take place on Friday at 2 p.m. Hoping to see you there. You said Friday 2 p.m., right? I can't afford to miss it for anything. I can't afford to miss it for anything. Count me present. I will be there. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much, my sister. God bless you. God Wow, God, Miss Purity is a firebrand. This woman is loaded for God. My God, goodness. She is loaded for Christ. Oh, God, where have you been, Miss Purity? Where have you been? Oh, Sister Comfort, I thank you for connecting me to this wonderful woman of God. Thank you for connecting me to this powerful woman of God. Oh, Father, and I thank you for using Miss Purity to speak to me personally. Tonight was my night. Father, I give you all honor. I give you all glory. You are worthy of my praise, Daddy. Thank you. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, Baba. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, God. Oh, God, have mercy. Have mercy on me, God. I have been going to church. I have been paying tithes, yet I was not in Christ. Father, today, oh Lord, I totally repent of my sins. Father, cleanse me with the blood of Jesus from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Cancel my name from the book of death and write it in the book of life, oh Father, in the name of Jesus. Teach me, Daddy, how to serve you diligently without expectations in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you. I thank you once more again, oh Lord, for speaking to me through your purity in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, I worship you that day. God, you are also awesome. good, oh, God. Wow. I thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Sister perfect. Sister Luis, oh God. Sister Luis. Father, please use me to speak to her. Use me to speak to her, Lord. You know how stubborn she is. You know how stubborn she could be sometimes. Use me to speak to her. Father, I would really love her to give her life to Christ. I cannot watch her live a wayward life, Lord. Father, God, use me to speak to her in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, as I pick up my phone and dial her number. Oh, Father, let her answer and listen to me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. You are a God that answers prayers. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Mm -hmm. So how are you doing, my dear? 
oh my dear i thank god i give him all the glory he has been faithful yes he has been faithful my dear please listen to me please just listen to me this just this once i beg of you you know my sister i have just realized i have been going to church but not rooted in christ the woman of god sister comfort told us about you remember her right she spoke about miss purity last time yeah i told you that woman is a firebrand she is on fire for christ jesus please you need to join me for her next program on friday just once i tell you just once and if she doesn't speak to you if you don't feel blessed and that you can go ahead and live your life and i will not disturb you never again just this once and i bet you you're going to be blessed Really? Interesting. Well, you know, I myself have been thinking about this church for that home. The other day I had a nightmare, my dear, it was horrible. I dreamed that I died. And on the judgment day, the angels were trying to investigate to see if a single thing that I did warrant me to go to God. And each time they tried to take in my head, it was either abortion, oh my God. it was either exporting money from men, Jesus. going to my prop. There was no single Jesus. thing that I did, my dear. Oh that my God. never me but could give me oh the way God. God is to do. So I've really been thinking, I too want to change my way of life to give my life to Christ. Thank you, sweet Jesus. You are awesome. Father, I give you praise. I give you honor because you are God. Thank you, Father. I will forever worship you. Thank you. Oh, Sister Louise, this is the best decision you have ever taken in your life. Really? Yes, I told you. God loves you. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, thank you, my dear. Definitely, I'm not going to fail to read the passages, but first I have to buy a Bible because I don't have a Bible, my dear. Don't worry, I am going to send you her link right away and some Bible verses to be meditating on, yes. Oh yes, you could send me the link too for the online program. I'm definitely going to follow it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so you said Friday, 2 p.m., right? Definitely, my dear. Definitely. Okay, see you. Bye. <laughs> um. I have heard so many songs Listened to a thousand tongues But there is one that sounds above them all the father's son the father's love Hallelujah, he's a miracle working God. 
Mommy needs to hear this. Hmm. Good day, Miss Purity. How are you doing today, Mom? I am doing fine. Thank you very much, Sister Comfort. How are you? I am doing fantastic. In fact, I am so full of joy right now. And I just thought of calling you to share the testimony with you. God is so good. You know, the other day, I talked to sisters Louise and Blanche, encouraging them to repent and seek God. I even recommended them to join your Facebook Live broadcast to learn more about the Word of God and be encouraged. Guess what? Guess what? Hmm. What could that be? Our God is a faithful God. Both of them have now repented and given their lives to Christ. In fact, Sister Louise, who was even the very hesitant one of both of them, has started going to church. I am so happy for them. And thanks especially to you for always making this live broadcast. You don't know how many lives have been touched by your teachings. Keep doing what you do. God bless you immensely. Praise the living Jesus. What a happy day. Oh, Jesus, you are too faithful. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Sister Comfort. Thank you for watching. No doubt, a few minutes ago, I was at the park. In fact, I am still in the park and the Lord revealed to me that Sister Blanche and Sister Louisa have finally surrendered their lives to God. And now you are just confirming it. Praise Jesus. Thank you. I pray for you, Sister Comfort. God will bless the works of your hands. Every endeavor of yours is blessed. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Amen, Mom. To God be the glory. Nice day to you. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. Ah, this God is good. This God is good. Vraiment, le Seigneur est fidèle. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, my name is Helen Yogo, and to the glory of God, I am the president of Precious Beloved Evangelical Prayer and Help Ministry Worldwide. Today is a beautiful day. Today is a wonderful day, and I give God all the glory for providing me with this seasonal opportunity this lifetime privilege to be a workman in his vineyard precious beloved evangelical prayer help ministry worldwide <clears throat> it's a vision which the lord laid into my heart to bring his daughters together and when the Lord laid this vision into my heart, I discussed it with my husband. Actually, the Lord had called me in this life before I got married. But the pressure from the Lord, you know, to answer the call was much when I was already married. So I had to discuss it with my husband. And after discussing it with my glorious husband, Prince Alenja Pangu, he said, yes, you should do what the Lord has asked you to do. So we prayed about it. Since I didn't know how to go about the vision, I didn't know what to do, how to start, how to begin. I went back to the Lord in prayers to give me directives. And in the revelation, he said, I want to use you to prepare my bride. I want to use you to 
to encourage young girls not to hold on to their past, not to hold on to their colorful past. According to the word of God in Colossians 1, 19 to 24, that as long as we can stay reconciled, we can stay connected with the Lord, He's not going to condemn us. Because He also made me to understand in Romans 8 verse 1, He said, Thou there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And it was so interesting to me when the Lord was giving me more deeper clarity and understanding that you young women, you like to hold on to your past. You don't want to let go. And as much as you do that, the enemy comes in and uses that against you. And every time you want to take a step forward, the enemy tells you, no, 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 remember what you did, remember what you did. No, but we forget that Jesus Christ actually had paid the price for us. And so the name Precious Beloved, it's actually in line with the word of God in Isaiah 43 verse 4, when the Lord said, we are precious in his sight. So he said, go and tell my daughters that they are precious in my sight. And like his word in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, he says he is the only one who knows the thought and the plans which he has towards his daughters. So in Precious Beloved, we come together in respective of our backgrounds, denominational affiliations, ages, we pray, we encourage each other, we sharpen each other, we um, accept that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior of our lives, and we are totally guided by the Holy Spirit. We rely absolutely on the ladies of the Holy Spirit. All our programs, our retreats, our revivers, our prayers, our midnight warfare prayers, our teaching, everything is according to the leadership of the Holy Spirit because without Him, we won't be here. And we have sisters who never knew about the Holy Spirit, who maybe probably because of their denomination, they didn't really pay attention. You know, there was lack of that foundation for them to understand that they needed the Holy Spirit in their lives and with their work, their Christian work with God. So many of them received the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues, all to the glory of the Lord. God has proven himself so much in person, beloved. So we create a safe space for every sister to feel free to share their stories, stories of change, stories of inspiration, you know, from how God has taken them and God keeps pruning us, God keeps purging us, keeps sanctifying us, keeps strengthening us, renewing us, and helping us to stay in Christ as our identity. A precious beloved sister is a vessel of encouragement, a vessel of encouragement to others in love, in absolute purity, in absolute honesty, in absolute selflessness. And out of our fellowship, we also carry out other activities like um, community project, charity. We do a lot of charity works and God has been providing, God has been faithful for his glory. We also um, <clears throat> carry out um, music, drama, like the movie you have watched, Total Repentance, Total Repentance. It's a revelation the Lord gave me in the sleep of the night. I was sleeping one night and the Lord woke me up and started showing me a story about a certain uh, Miss Purity. So I woke up and I wrote everything and to the glory of God, we, we are able to interpret the, the story now for lives to be blessed as you watch. So a precious beloved sister is a kingdom minded precious peculiar child of god she's the light she's not afraid to talk about jesus she's not afraid to identify herself as a child of god she's not afraid to look back and say i am so grateful to god that he kept me and his grace has carried me all along so god wants his daughters to understand that he truly loves and cares for us his daughters and that he is our first husband. He is our first love. So in Precious Beloved, we um, 
stay clue to this you know belief and we have this faith that Jesus is number one in our lives that's why we are encouraged always to get involved in kingdom activities we sacrifice our time we sacrifice our resources we make ourselves available a precious beloved sister is a teachable sister is a humble sister is a caring sister and God has really really been awesome God has proven himself there have been a lot of transformation we had sisters who came were so traumatized we have sisters who never knew God before they got married but God has been faithful God has walked through them and now they are also encouraging other women and that's also one aspect of precious beloved vision that we have been encouraged to encourage others and that's why the law said we are vessels of encouragement in absolute purity in absolute love in absolute selflessness Precious beloved is for every sister, it's for every sister, it's for every female who probably one way or the other thought that because of their colorful past, they could be slave to their past. No, no way. You are no longer a slave to your past, to your colorful past. You're not longer a slave to your colorful past. That's what the Lord is saying. So you are not. So you need a group of sisters where you can belong, you can feel love. Because we are so guided by the value of love. You can always join us at any time. You can ask for prayer, send in your prayer request. We will pray for you. Whole house together. We are committed to each other. We are committed to work with God, to stay with God. And one very important aspect of the vision of Precious Beloved, which the Lord revealed to me, was that He said He wants us to accept his calendar for our lives in every season as we sojourn here on earth with the surest assurance that there's going to be a glorious future ahead of us so every precious beloved sister at every point in time is committed to accepting god's calendar for their lives that's because when we don't accept God's calendar for our lives, we open up portals for the enemy to come and, you know, tell us not to wait, to be impatient, to try to do things our own way, to take our lives into our hands. No, but in Precious Beloved, we carry out empowerment activities whereby we trust God through his word. We do a lot of teachings, Bible studies. We have our time for Bible studies. We go through the word of God so that each one of us can actually realize and know how God speaks to them for them to be able to discover their divine purposes for why they are here on earth not just being a female not just being a married woman single career woman but much more much more like the Lord was speaking to us from Jeremiah 29 verse 11 so we know the purpose of God for our lives so that's a brief about precious beloved sisters and I really want to use this opportunity to appreciate my glorious husband for all his support, his sacrifices, his time, and also for allowing me to do the work of God as the Lord has called me. I want to thank all my mommies in faith, all my parents in faith who have been praying for us, praying for this vision. Yes, we started our WhatsApp group um, 2019, and one of the assignments that the Lord gave was like, he said, just get seven women, get seven girls, specific background. And then once I got it, the Lord took over. And to the glory of God, there have been a lot of expansion. There have been um, a lot of promotion. And God has been doing wonders. We have prayed for impossible cases. We, pray, we keep praying for impossible cases. And God has been faithful and God has answered our prayers. So in a bit, we are here to give back glory to God, to thank Him. And I cannot also end this video without recognizing the support from our sister, from the drama ministry, African drama ministry, Sister Julie, for all that she's been doing, her support. We pray that God will bless her, God will continue to bless her ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray for you. Remember, do not accept the lies of the enemy, sister. 
Remember that God loves you. All you need to do is to stay connected and reconciled with him because you are no longer a slave. Thank you.